Buongiorno. Buongiorno. How are we doing? There we go. There we go. There we go. Bit of purple. We're cooking on gas now. How yeah. are we doing? Buzza buzza with the thing. Like in the t-shirt. Yeah, boy. Lo loving these movie t-shirts, Barry. Is that, is that loot crate? Is it loot crate? Some of it is, yeah. Some of it I pick up from all sorts of places. I used to have a uh, subscription to Loot some Crate. Some really good ones on um, Etsy, which I pick oh, up. Yeah. yeah. I need to order some more once I move out. There's a couple of like ones like the, the Bada Bing, um, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. the strip bar and stuff. So I need to order those. Yeah. I, I always well, look at getting some, but then I just don't order them. <laughs> no, I um I used to have a loot crate subscription, and uh, every month you'd, you'd get a new one. But yeah, then you end up like with so many, so many that you don't want or need or ever wear again. Um, yeah. but yeah, anyway, that's a conversation for another time. Yeah. How we? Well, thank you very much for uh for coming on tonight, Baz. We yeah we very much appreciate it. Um, for, for those me. of you that have uh, just joined us. Well, we've not even said what we're doing actually. So um, today, what we've got in store for us is a bit of blind blind sniffing for you. So we kind of took inspiration off of what we've been doing with Essential and doing a lot of blind sniffing tests, and we thought we would uh, get other people involved. So what we've done is we've asked uh, our Baz um, to come in and uh, help us with this. So we have um, supplied him with some samples. And what we're going to get him to do is give him a sniff, let us know what he thinks, what he thinks about them, whether he can guess any notes in there, whether he can actually guess what the fragrance is. Um, and and I think we'll have a, a little bit of fun with it. So the first four um, are going to be, it's four that I've sent Barry. I've also sent Nick the same four samples. So both Barry and Nick are basically going into this blind. I've not told Nick what they are. Um, and then Nick has sent Barry two more to to sample um, to see what he thinks of them because we think it would be interesting based upon what the fragrances actually are. Um, so do we want to go uh, go through anything before we begin, or yeah? So shall we get um, shall we rank the four that Ant sent, and then Barry, if you want to do an overall ranking including the two that I've sent and just see which three are your sort of favorite at the end. Yeah. Let's go for is he, it. Is he still there or? I think he's, um, I think he may have crashed. He's either, he's either doing a really, really good impression of a statue. Hey. Disconnected. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. We can, <laughs> we can fill some, we can fill yeah. some time. We can talk, we can talk to the people that are here. Hey, Heather. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. Russell, how's it going, everyone? How are you on this lovely Wednesday evening? Rich? Rich Mitch. How's it going? So we're doing a uh, mystery sniffing with Barry. So we've sent him some samples. And Barry's, well, me and Barry are going to do a little bit. And then Barry's going to pick up the rest. And so, see Heather, this isn't, like this isn't payback. No, these are all, they're, they're, not, they're not horrible ones, unfortunately. They are... Uh... They're, they're in, in my collection and I wouldn't have kind of like, oh, hang on. I wouldn't have horrible ones. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we lost you there, dude. You all right? You good? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Crappy internet. I've had loads of don't problems worry. with the internet just lately. Virgin and rubbish. Yeah, I, I'm with this, I'm with them. And mine for work the last couple of days has been a bit on yeah. and off. So, Right. So we have kindly labelled... Uh, the the first four A B C and D, um, so let's um, let's start with let's start with A. I think that's the probably the best okay. place to start. I uh, hope I wrote these down right that I've got. So looks Barry, a bit blue. I, I looks a bit blue. A bit of blue for the if, uh, um, blue for the dads. I asked him if A and B are the same because they look exactly the same in colour. Mm. Could be, well, you know. I'm also going to sniff along with you. I know, obviously, I know what they are, but I'm also going to sniff along with you. Mm. So, what we want you to do first, Baz, is get a sniff. Let us know whether or not it's your cup of tea. What you what you think about it? See if you can pick out any notes or anything like that, and then see if you can kind of pinpoint what the actual fragrance is. 
quite musky. It's quite blue. Yeah, it's very sort of watery. And it's got a definite aquatic feel to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's quite nice. There's something about it I like. Yeah, it's a little bit of fruitiness to it. Yeah, I was going to say there's a bit of... It's like a fruity aquatic... So um, fruity, what 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 are you getting from a, a fruit? The fruity aspect of it, I'd say more like red fruits. Okay, what like a melon or something? Like a, like a berry. Yeah, more that sort of thing. Okay. Nick, what I are like you getting? From it? I'm getting that fruity, watery. It's very clean. It's something I would wear, but I don't think yeah. it, it feels like it's quite light as well. It's not a. It reminds heavy... me of um, individual. I can see that. Um, now you say that, I can see that. I can see it. It's got definite that sort of feel. I don't know. I don't know what it could be because I think it's it's definitely a blue fragrance. Yeah, so um, it definitely is. You are you are right. Absolutely, one hundred percent is a blue fragrance. Um, I think this one would be. Um, it smells like a cheapy. Okay. You think? Yeah, because I think I feel like it's sort of fading for me a little bit, quite quickly. It's not fine. I will say with this one, there has been like mixed reviews on longevity on people's skin, but all right. It's never it hasn't steered me wrong. Ever since I got okay. it, it's never steered me wrong. I feel like the burst at the start I really liked where the fruitiness was there. I feel like the fruitiness is sort of going. Okay. A bit more of the sort of aquatic y watery sort of jelly type of smell. Okay. I don't think I don't think it's something like Nautica Voyage because I don't think it's quite no. blue enough. I, f I feel like I'd pick out Nautica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I get a cucumber feel from Nautica. Yeah, yeah. Nautica is so. extremely cucumbery, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we won't we won't we won't go over what it is right now. Let's let's because okay. I think that this this one in particular does have a little bit of a de of a development where it ha absolutely okay. has with me anyway. Um, so we'll go back to this one, I think. Yeah. Um, we'll do a we'll do a first sniff of all sniff of them all, see what we think, um, yeah. and then go back to them to see if we can pick out anything else. Right. What on earth? Oh, I've got, got his coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what was a uh, a filthy jug of piss? <laughs> Close. Would would you wear this one, Barry? Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. I would so out of these four, Barry, I yeah. think I think you have at least two. Interesting. I've got two of these. At least two. <laughs> Better get that nose ready, Barry. Oh man. I'll make it too easy for you. I've got to make you think about it. You I'm can't think one. about it. He's got thousands. I'm not too sure whether or not you've got this one or not. I've never smelt this one. Mm, I can't pick it out. No, I can't pick it out. It's nice right. though. I like it. Right, let's like move on to B. B then. We'll just move on to B. B. Possibly one of my favourite. Yeah, Is it? It's got a similar sort of... Similar sort of look again, isn't it? Yeah, they're they're almost A and B are almost identical in colour. Hmm, I like this one as well. This is nice. All right, so what are you getting from the opening? I think there's some bits of lemon and bergamot in there. Okay. Yeah, very, it smells fruity. It smells a bit like quite fizzy, a little bit fizzy. I don't know if I'm picking up any sort of. It's got a very little, clean feel to it. 
Do you feel like you're picking out any bit of woods, Barry? No, I don't think so. Not yet. It's very clean. Yeah, it's very nice. It is very clean. This is, when definitely, we... this is definitely a summer fragrance, I think. Yeah, definitely. Again, it's, it's, it's weird it's because weird. I can't sort of pinpoint. I think I'm echoing that a bit. echo? There we go. Uh, so I can't pick out a specific sort of fruit or anything like that. This one, Barry, I know you've definitely got. Oh, Baza. Brandon, how's it going? Brandon, thanks for joining us, mate. I didn't realise I'd seen Matt there. Matt, how's it going? Matty boy. Yeah, I know this. I know this one you've definitely absolutely got. Oh, Barry. Oh, Thing is, though, I, th I, I say yeah, that, I say that like it's a, an advantage, like it's an advantage or anything. But you've got so many, and you smell so many that to pinpoint yeah. something completely blind is going to be extremely difficult to do. Plus. Other than a couple that I've recently bought, I've not tried any of my summer fragrances since last summer. Yeah. Because they're You're all in boxes. Out of it, yeah. yeah. It's nice. I like it. I, I think I probably prefer A. Okay. Um, I question. I think I might like what, this one more. Let's go back to A. What price point do you think it would be? So, Nick, <clears> you said it was a, a cheapie. I think it's a cheapie. Just because I felt like it sort of went pretty quick for me, anyway. It's actually it smells a bit better. It smells now. a bit more. Um, it feels as if it's got like a little bubble gum feel to it. Going back to it, a. I think it's because of how blue that B is. Yeah, but yeah. A, a does. A doesn't seem as blue now. I agree a, with that. A does change. This is one of the things I really like about A that it has a bit of a, a transition. I, re I prefer A, uh, but yeah, I think it's a cheapy. I think it's one that would surprise me of how cheap it is and how nice it smells. I think it's definitely got like a bit of a sweet bubblegum feel to it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So out of the two, you're Nick, you're leaning towards A, Barry, yeah. you're leaning towards B. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Interesting. I feel that B is a bit more citrusy. It is. This has got more of a like um, a blue de Chanel sort of feel. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, like that, like kind of like that mass appealing kind of quality to it. Yeah. 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 I get that. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's okay. there's a bit more of a soapy feel as well to B as well. Yes, yeah. yes, that you're absolutely right. Yeah, maybe something like um, oh, I think what that would be. I'm interested Ooh. to see what it is, and Baz has got it. I don't know. <laughs> oh fuck you know <laughs> right let's um <laughs> let's go to uh have a sniff of your coffee have a sniff of your piss jar as nick would call it and yeah, then uh... drug out. <laughs> so see i haven't actually worn for a while okay but it is one that i do enjoy oh It's almost a clear. This gives me a bit of a Palma Violets type of smell. Okay. Yeah, I'm picking up a bit of a Palma Violet. Yeah, it's got a pink feel to it, hasn't it? Yeah. I like that. It's nice. Once again, it's got like a clean, musky feel to it. I feel like it's got a, like a powderiness to it. It's like the what I'm envisioning with this is a bit of the you've opened the palm of violets up, you've got that powdery smell that's coming out. That's what I'm picking up with this. 
See, I'm getting a bit of unboxing with this one. Yeah, a bit of unboxing, did you say? Yeah. Interesting. I like that. It's different. It's not... I don't think I've got anything in my collection that smells as similar. Is this, this is one going Barry's down got? more of like an, an artisan pure sort of feel? Okay. What kind of age range would you say that this was age geared range. up towards? I don't know. On the 30s? Yeah, I'd say probably a bit older. Probably, I wouldn't say someone younger would probably want to go for this type of smell. But it, it depends because it's quite a nice smell. The problem is for me, under thirties was a long time ago. <laughs> so, do you feel that this one has a bit of a more of a like a classical kind of a classic kind of vintage kind of feel to it, or do you think it's more modern day? Oh man, smelling these now, it's something different when I'm smelling them. I think it's a bit of both. I think it's got a sort of sort of classic smell but a bit modern at the same time i think yeah i think you could do both it's yeah. like it smells like a classic but it's a sort of classic that's been around for a long time and people keep on wearing it yeah okay that's all right that yeah wow. i really i really enjoy that one interesting right it's going to be interesting going back to these, I think. Yeah. It's going to be Seems more interesting going problem. back to them. Yeah. Right. D. D. Purple. Oof. That was a good spray. It does look a bit pink. Oof. <laughs> Woof. That's a strong one. What about this one? You've got uh, this one. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. What am I picking up? I've, I feel like what I've you get in? What are you picking up? I think there's um, there's a bit of leather in it. This has got like a... I wouldn't say. What does this remind me of? Has he got tobacco in here? It's got like a cr creaminess to it, like a this, leathery, creamy. This one I find so addictive, like so addictive. Because I oh, find that the opening to this, yeah, is got like this really pungent, kind of really distinctive smell, and the dry down. It, it kind of it dissipates a little bit and then blends into something else. I feel like I've smelt this before and it's bugging the hell out of me. Yeah, same here. Some people say that they get kind of like a licorice feel from the opening. Yeah, I, I get it. I was thinking like blackjacks, the sweets on, on the opening. Oh, what does it remind me of? Is this a Middle Eastern one? Could the what? Be. Is it a Middle Eastern one? Could be. What, your Latafa? Latafa. Oh, I'm thinking more. That was a little smirk. This is nice. I like it. Yeah, I find this one probably the out of out of the four that we've done, I find this one like the most addictive. Right. So what, what I'm gonna do now what we'll do now is we'll go over we'll go back to the first one and what yeah. I'm gonna do is while she's sniffing it, I'm gonna read you what the notes are. Or I'll give you I'll give you another chance to tell me what you think some notes are, and I'll read you what the notes are, then see if you can guess what the, the fragrance might be. Should we rank them first? Or do you want to rank them? Yeah, let's rank them and then see. Let's rank our uh, top four. Uh, 
the last one is very different. Yeah. Oh my god, what is the last one? <laughs> oh I'd probably god. say DBCA. DBCA. Okay, interesting. D B C A. Okay. Yeah. I think I would go D A B C. I think D A B C. I think, I think there is something in D that is addictive that okay. keeps you wanting to smell it. Okay. So let's go to A. First off, any thoughts on what it might be? It could no. be one of about 20 different fragrances. I mean, it absolutely could be with this kind of DNA. <laughs> so what I'll say is that the opening, you did say that it was quite uh, citrusy and fruity. You were absolutely yeah. right. So in the in the top, we've got lemon, grapefruit, bitter, orange, and apple. Boss bottle. Is it, I think Matt put it earlier, is it the blue seduction? It's not blue seduction. In the mid, we've got ginger, cinnamon, geranium, and cloves. I don't know if you got any of that spice at all. No. No. And in the base, we've got vetiver and woodsy notes. I can probably see where the woods in It's not a boss in. bottle, is it? Is that what you're guessing? I'm thinking if if you were to go with a it? boss bottle, if you were to go with a boss bottle, what boss bottle would you think it would be? Well, I don't think it's the original because I get no. a real bad rubber note from the original. Maybe could, could be one of the flankers. Intense. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give you points here. I'm gonna have to give you points because it absolutely is a boss bottled, and oh, I think yeah, that there okay. was probably a big hint with the apple in the top because they're synonymous with apple in the mm. opening. You can but pick it out is... some of the originalness, the original bottle. In yeah, you so can smell the boss bottled in it. Yeah. So A is boss bottle oh, tonic. Ah, tonic. interesting. Tonic oh, that way. Tonic. I like it. Yeah, it makes makes sense because it's blue and it's a cleaner yeah. version of Boss Bottle. Yeah, super I blue. Not that did the uh, tonic. The um. So, have you got tonic? No. No. Okay. So, I think you've actually only got two of these. Then I couldn't decide. I didn't know whether or not you had the tonic or not. Um, what I find with tonic is that it opens really, really fresh, really, really, um, as you would expect a blue fragrance to open. And then throughout, I mean, you probably only get about four or five hours with this at max. Mm. Um, but it does start to on skin anyway. Um, it starts to kind of like develop that kind of like warming kind of, uh, spicy feeling. And I think that's from the, the, the mid notes. Um, you don't get it loads, but you do get it, and I think that sets it apart from you just your average kind of like blue fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. And Nick, you are kind of right in a cheapy perspective because I mm. managed to pick up a hundred mil. I think I got it on, I think it was from Latina. I think I got it for like twenty five quid or something like that. So it is really, really affordable, and um, I really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. D so, your mind in. B. Oh, it's just so bloody. I love. I love B. It's just so good. Is this the? I'm taking a guess here. It doesn't smell like it on paper. Is this the uh, Bulgari Poor Hom? It is not. No. Okay. That's what I find. I find Bulgari more. It's more aquatic, isn't it? Salty. Yeah. 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 So, Barry, I think I remember you saying in the in the opening you got lemon and bergamot. I think you said in this yeah. one, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's two of the four notes in the top. So you got lemon, bergamot, roly, roly, no roly, yeah. and rose, rose de mai or rose. Are you getting any of that floral aspect to it? I'm not getting florals. 
because in the mid you've got hyacinth, clarisage, geranium, and cedar. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I think it, I was very focused on the citrus. On this, and then in no, the base, you did. You did mention there was like a woody feel, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you I did, like there, you did say that there is a woodsy feel. And then in the base, you've got tonka, musk, and amber. Interesting. Oh my days! <laughs> See, normally I think neroli is quite overpowering. In yeah. fragrances and it's not in no any. no it's not at all in this so what house do you think this might sit with it's a very well known house is it, is, it, is it designer yeah is it one of the chromes Huh? Is it one of the crones? Azaro oh, chrome. Oh, Azaro. No, no, no. See, initially it's... I thought it was BDC, but I don't think it is. No, no, it's no. not. not it sure is. Could it be? It is. The... Do you want to know who the perfumer is? Not really. Okay. I won't pick it up if I need the perfume. You might do. <laughs> Go on then. Alberto Marias. Marias. So he does a morning. So is it Acqua di Gio Perfuma? Or just Acqua di Gio? I'm not sure on this one. Else, is he? I'm guessing this would have been quite a older fragrance uh let me see when it was released it was released is it an armor and is it a armani no no it was released in 2008 mm. some people are putting dolce and gabbana salvatore ferragamo Salvatore Ferragamo, Acqua Senza Blu. I, I right. cannot pick out which type of house this would be. Yeah, it could be light blue. It's got a very, it's got, it's got similarity to light blue. It's very similar to light blue. I, I, I'd say. Do you want me to? Uh, yeah, go for it. Put you out in yeah, misery, shoot. or would it be? Why? No. No. So it is. I've got only a diddy little bottle of this one. Oh. Oh man. Versace I've Paul. I've got home. that as well. Mm -hmm. See, I know that's you've one that I bought and I only wore twice, and then I haven't wore since. I've not. So I've this not one, that. I've not smelt it. It's um, I love this. I mean, I only picked up a thirty mil bottle of it because I obviously right, with everything. It, yes, it's great. It's there's. I feel like there's no kind of uh, occasion that this couldn't work for. I really, really love this, and again, really, really cheap. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. This this one doesn't change that much. I find I find um, Versace Porom doesn't change. It is what it is, but what it is is really, really, really nice. And like you said, it's got that. Um, when I think you said the the blue de Chanel kind of quality, it's just mass appealing to everyone. Yeah. I don't really know anyone that kind of doesn't like it. I, I know what D reminds me of now, and it's clean and it's it's got that musky feel. Yes, absolutely. Come on. Right, C. I'm getting a big palm of violets. Is all I'm thinking with this one. Okay. Very. Um, well, it's See, got I'm like getting a lots of a soapy feel with this. Yeah, it's got a soapy freshness, but there's something with the freshness that's making me think of Palmer Violets for some reason. Okay. Don't know why. So, the top notes: bergamot, tangerine, 
interestingly, pineapple, which I don't get at all, nice. and violet leaf. Oh. At least I got the word right. Palmer Violet. <laughs> <laughs> the, in the mid, we've got Clarisage. I did, I, did, I did say there was a little Fahrenheit thing at the beginning. Yeah, you did. Which is what's in Violet Leaf. It's the, the kind of like the petrol y kind of feel. Yeah. So you got, uh, in the mid, you've got Clarisage, Paprika, Lavender, and a T note. Like a this, green for, this for me would be like a gym fragrance. Okay. I'd I'd whack this on for the gym. And then in I the base you've got Tonka. Brand. In the base you've got Tonka and Cashmere wood. Yeah, this would be like a casual frag for me. Whack it on. It's nice. I like it. So this one, I find that the um, performance on this is really, really strong. I found on this one, on me, it really sticks to me, and it all on clothes, it, it's there for a couple of days, which I find really nice because this is classed as a uh, a woody aquatic, so not something you would expect to last on you for a while. Um, what house do you think it might be? Something like Mercedes Benz. You're close. It's going to be a car then, isn't it? Jaguar. Ah, ah. It's the Bentley Azua, isn't it? Is it that one? Bentley Azua. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Bentley for men Azua. See, I'm, I've never smelled that, but as soon as you said that it's close. like the aquatic and once yeah. you said it was close, then you're going down the car line. And I was like thinking yeah. Ferrari, but I've tried the Ferrari ones and yeah, it's not one of those. So this and I've I've really, really for the for the ones that I've I've tried for Bentley, I I can't really go wrong, especially for the price for Bentley fragrances. Bentley for men intense is just gorgeous. This I re I really, really enjoy. Um See, I've not worn I, it I for actually, a while, but I actually prefer Bentley for men more than the intense now that i've tried See, it seems to be more I've, boozy i've heard a few people say i've not tried the uh, bentley for men i've only tried the uh, bentley for men intense um but i've heard people say that the um there is a the the booziness is amped up in for men rather than the intense version yeah. i think but I again probably this, try and pick this up this is yeah, really really out. cheap I've, I've really really it. cheap i think i got this i mean i got this back end of last year uh, not back end, like the start of last year, sorry. Um, and I think I got this for like, I think at the time it was like 18 quid. It was really cheap. It was really cheap when I got See, it. There's no freshie, isn't there, in the Bentley line? And that, is it Silver Lake? Yeah, there's, um, yes, I think it is. It's the, it's kind of like got a, an Aqua de Geo kind of feel to it. The Silver Lake one. Yeah. Nice. But, yeah, I really like that. Very nice. I'm surprised with that one, to be fair. Right, D, I figured out what it reminds me of. <laughs> and, Barry, tell me what you think. It's giving me vibes of um, Naxos. The sort of yeah, that, honey. That's what I, yeah, that, that's what I said with the tobacco. Yeah. So yeah, I I was thinking it was more um, the Mugler one, Pure Havan. Pure Havan. Which yeah. Pure Havan and Naxos do have a similar sort of feel. They're, they're, they're very similar. And it reminds me of the, um, so I've got the uh, Scent for All honey tobacco. And it's very similar. The Niche for All one. Yeah, uh, the Niche for All one, yeah. Because that's a blend of Pure Havan and Naxos. So, you shall can. I tell you something interesting about this one? Yeah. It doesn't have tobacco in it. Oh, no. Are you joking? No. What, what's the sweet note? Is it? Has it got like a honey? So, in the top, there's Artemisia, cardamom and cumin. In the bay, sorry, in the mid, we've got rose and orris root. 
And then in the base is where you get your sweetness from. It's vanilla, tonka, amber, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. So you got tonka and vanilla in there that's amping up that sweetness. I think this is probably one of them Middle Eastern fragrances. Yeah, you can you can get the cardamom now, which is off the top. It's so interesting. Like once you get once you find out what the notes are, you then start to actually smell them. Whereas yeah. before that, they were kind of like off. It's nice. I like it. Spicy, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a nice spice to it. What I find with this one, so it starts off with it, it's got a nice kind of like freshness and it almost kind of feels a, a little herbaceous in the opening, I find. When you first spray it, there's kind of like a, a herbally kind of spice freshiness to it. Yeah. And then when this dries down, it's super sweet. It, on skin anyway, it really dries down to like a really sweet, and that I think is probably amped up by the vanilla and the tonka. It's really, really sweet when it dries yeah. down and on you, your skin. And you say, I've got this. Yeah. <laughs> I double checked. I had to double check and I went on I went on your channel um to have a look to see if it was you know you had an unboxing video or something like that and you do. Um so that's how I know you've got it. Is it one of them Latafa ones? No, I'd, I'd say it was probably more. He's, he's staying silent. That was a straight no. It's a Latafa. Probably more of a fragrance world or something like that. No, Latafa, I think. Latafa, which Latafa would that This be? is so much fun. The power is, is insane. <laughs> which Latafa would that be? Have you, have you got many Latafa, Baz? Mate, got, <laughs> I think he's got more. He's, 25. He's got more Latafa in his house than they've got in their warehouses. <laughs> Won't be something like Kaid. So it's not Latafa. Okay. It is Middle Eastern. Okay. I'm trying to think what you've bought recently. Is it a well, recent one or an older one? Um, it's one of my more recent purchases. I mean, me. Oh, for you. Uh... <laughs> How far did you have to go back? I think it was in this. It was this year. Oh man! I need to. Let me just have a quick. I'll have a quick. Often. I'm just going to have a quick look while she sniff. Hang on. I wonder if it's one of the uh, my fragrances ones. Um, five months ago. Not that far away. Five months then. ago. Hmm. I don't know. I think this is one of your recent ones, and that you got. It is. But I can't remember. You put you out your misery. Heather is um Oh Razazi. Hawas. It's not Hawas. Oh no, Darej. Darej, yeah. Darej. Yeah, because you said this performs beastly, didn't you? I should this have is... bloody known by the bloody colour of colour. it. Colour. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very, very distinctive colour. Heather, well done. Well done, uh, Heather. But yeah, Heather's I... not even I, sniffing I, it and she gets it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely... I mean, I, I, it's hard to be able to kind of like classify what this actually smells like. You know, when you try to explain someone what, what something smells like, I, I adore this. And I got this yeah. for an absolute bargain as well. Um, I think this is great. And it does. It lasts on me. Oh, it's an all dayer for me. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's really nice. Right, so we're moving on to uh, we're, we're moving on to uh, Nick's now. So I know what these two are, but I don't have the samples like we've just done now. But I know what they are. Yeah. 
So what I want you to do, Barry, I want you to spray A on your arm and just have a casual sniff of B. Let's see what you think. So these ones I got off uh, Greggy Boy. Greggy Boy. What from the from his site, Fra boy? Yeah, Fragrance yeah. Samples. Frag kind of Fragrance yeah. Samples UK. What do you think of Fragrance Samples UK? I I find it is it's a little hit and miss um, in terms of pricing. I think that it depends on what size um, sample you want, really. If you're good with just like a, a one mil sample, then I think you, you, you're okay. But if you start to go dive into the realms of like, you know, the 10 mils and stuff like that, I find it can be a little bit more on the uh, the expensive side. But I guess it really depends on what you're kind of going for. I, I, I think I... Oh, go on, Baz, sorry. Go on. No, carry on. I think I, think I like it because sometimes um greg probably puts a little bit more than the one mil um mm -hmm. than uh what i normally should get but um yeah uh, i think pricing yeah it's probably a bit higher than what you could get off ebay and stuff like that yeah see i, I used to buy quite a bit off my fragrance samples uk and a lot of it was to compare some copies to the originals yeah. And then I think I did one where if it's over a certain amount, then you get a freebie. Yeah. yeah. And the freebie that he sent was a fragrance which Penn Halligans had knocked down to, I think it was less than £30, Quirkus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. So it basically got that and then was like using that as the freebie when I bought stuff like Black Phantom and that. So mm, right. something that he got for thirty pound, he was like giving <laughs> to me as a freebie. I was thinking, yeah. what? Seriously, <laughs> that's nothing like Black Phantom and that. So that no, like, put not, me it's off not a bit. Quite the so freebie you want... you, you'd be expecting, really, is it? Yeah. So do you want me to put A on skin? Yeah, please. Because I find it it's better on skin. Oh, you got some good sprays out there. You didn't think you'd get that many out of it. No, no. I've drained myself in that one. And big smells off that straight away. Is this going to be niche quality? It's bound to be if it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah, this one going to be like, smells like dog feet or something? <laughs> It's quite sweet. Yeah. It's quite fruity. It's got something in it which performs really well. This one. Does he? Yeah, lasts all day on the, on me. This one did when I put the sample on. Very strong and creates a big bubble. It reminds me of something that I've smelt before. Did you get, um, when you sampled it, Nick, did you get any similarities to any other fragrances? There was, but it'd probably give it away. Okay. So I'll probably go over it after. Okay. Do you like it, Barry? Yeah, I do like it. How, what price point would you put it at? Um... About 180. Fuck it. Okay. So you think it's like what, top end? Well, no, top end's like 250. Well, no, you think it's a niche a niche fragrance then? Yeah, I do think it's. Would you it's buy it? Initio, is it? No. I think I probably would buy it, yeah. Yeah. At 180. <laughs> He's got a big smile on his face. Would you, you'd buy that at 180 pounds? I don't know if I'd buy it for that price. Okay. I'd have to wear it for a few days first. It's I wouldn't I, I very rarely spend that sort of money on like a blind boy. Okay. So Matt's what? saying it's uh Nishane. Got John saying it's a bond number nine. Russell saying centerpiece. It's not centerpiece, Russell. 
No, it's not centerpiece. Mm. I don't think it's in the Nick Shano because I've Nick tried wouldn't give three up different. <laughs> I've tried three different Nishanes now, and I don't think it's either of those. This one took me probably a couple of days to really like it. So initially, I wasn't I wasn't too fond on it, but then when I wore it throughout the day, I was like, actually, I really like this. I'd probably buy it. Is it another one that's got like red fruits in it? Um, let me have a look. It's got fruits in the top. Yeah, it has got like a. You know, like um, like refreshers or like sherbet. It's got a bit of a, that feel in there, which is pushing out quite a bit. Mm, cool. I love that smell. It goes, this one in a different direction, though. Yeah, it, it goes a bit um, goes quite woody, rubbery. No, I'm not getting, I'm not getting any rubber. I think that's more know. more later on in the dry down. I don't know. But you it like is. it though, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Let's try the last one then, and then we'll reveal. Is it something which... that I've said I haven't? I don't. I don't like. No, you. no, we're not trying to catch no. off guard or anything. I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you've actually smelt that one before. So no. I think it, for me it was just a, an interesting fragrance that I just wanted to get your view on. Should I try I'm Beyond a, Skin as well? Uh, yeah, why not? Go oh, for it. So I told Ant this reminded me of another fragrance, but blended with some other notes. Wow. That is sweet. I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> no, that's a strange one. So this one ranges between your 100 and 150 pounds. Yeah. I like that. I really like that. Would you say, oh, what's going on? Would you say yeah. that it is uh, men, women, unisex? I'm oh, bloody runny nose, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> unisex. Okay. Spot on. So this this was an interesting one for me when I got this one. Because it, there was, uh, it wasn't what I expected it to be. I expected it to be something else. It's not a Byron, is it? No. Although we were talking, it was weird that me and Nick were actually talking about Byron just before yeah. we started this. You picking out any other notes, or has it changed? Yeah, it's just a strange one, isn't it, this one? I can't tell I can pick out anything that's particular. Should I go over the notes? It, it's, it's not a comfort. It's got some sort of exotic feel to it. So you the notes, don't, the like notes don't have a pyramid breakdown. They've just got notes in them. So... What's the most prominent note you think's in there? Probably vanilla. Okay. Do you find it's it's got a smoky element to it, Buzz? Not really. Interesting. I, I found there's a, a smokiness to it. So as I read these notes, tell me if you can uh, tell me if you can smell them. So we've got vanilla, coconut milk. Beeswax, black licorice, sandalwood, tonka bean, bitter almond, 
Guy Ackwood, Benzo in, and Musk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you say is the difference between the first one and the second one? This one's a lot, a lot zestier. Okay. Compared to this one, it's a strange one. That is, I can't pick any like coconut and stuff like that. I can get a bit of the tonka. Do you, Do you feel that they would be different occasions to wear wear and? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm lost. Okay. Which, which I, I, am, I am actually getting a bit of a, a smoky feel coming through now. Yeah. I got a bit of, only just a tiny bit of in the fireplace smokiness coming no, through. I don't think it's, it's that deep. Not Not as smoky, but there was something there that kept creeping up that reminded me of it. It might it be something be the, that you have to um, wear for a while to start getting that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be the woods though that are, that are coming through because it's got a bit of sandalwood and guy at wood in there, so it could be yeah. blending in with the vanilla to kind of make that a little bit kind of like a woody, smoky kind of feel. So, which, which one do you prefer? I don't know. I think they're both very different. I like both. I'd probably go this for like more summery. Okay. And this for like more of a. I wouldn't say winter, but. Yeah. Like, like a, maybe a cold summer's evening or like a spring or autumn. So you've almost got your year in two fragrances yeah. there, really, haven't you? <laughs> and how would you rank them <laughs> That's to, it, yeah. to the other four? Would they make any. Would they make your top three out of the other four? Yeah, I think these two would probably go above the other four. Interesting. Come on, then. <laughs> right, okay. So, so, we'll start with B first, shall we? Yeah, B. So yeah. the last B is a, uh, it's a Serge Luton. Yeah. And it I've is... only ever tried a Serge Luton, and that was a Chirgi. Is that the one with the hay note in it? Yeah, which I remember from Shergi. Um, it's uh, it's a fragrance called Umbois Vanille, of vanille or however you want to say it, but French. Yeah, yeah. Serge Luton Umbois Vanille, and that range is like I said in between the hundred and uh, hundred and fifty pounds um, category. So I so I got that when I went on my sort it's of nice vanilla like binge. It. To get all the different types of vanilla fragrances yeah. to see which which I liked, and that it's was nice, part of it. And then uh, let's move and to the bottle since. Hey, no, it, it wasn't my favourite vanilla. So this is see, A is becoming more aquatic now. Interesting. I'm getting more of a a watery musky feel from it. Mm. That's changing so let me... a lot. I'm going to okay. try a first spray of that again. Further okay. The arm. He's going to have another spray. And I can tell the Just going to let you know, you're going to smell of that in the morning, probably into the afternoon tomorrow. See, that's way different. Yeah. That's a massive difference. So what are you getting in the opening there, Baz? That's quite... It's very alcoholy in the opening, to be fair. I think I'm going... Is an apple note in there? Uh, no. No, no apple. See, when I first sprayed it on here, I was getting like lots of zesty citrusies, quite... Um, fizzy, but I'm not giving it so much now. I feel like it opens citrusy, um, yeah. but then it 
calms down quite a lot and goes um, a bit sort of woody um, in the dry down that I, I pick up anyway. But you're right in terms of the zestiness or the sort yeah. of citrus on the opening. So in the top, we've got Brazilian mandarin, orange oil, and Italian lemon. So just orange and lemon. In the mid, you've got Gayak wood. That's it. And then in the base, vetiver, patchouli, and cardamom. So it's a very often on the on the face of it a very simple. Yeah, it doesn't seem. Yeah, doesn't seem very complex at all. But you know what these perfumers are like; they don't like to list all the notes. This is yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I like it. So, cool. price range, you said, what, 180? Yeah, about that. Okay. It's not like someone like an Acre de Palma, Acre de Palma one, is it? No. I'm just getting up the uh, the, the price uh, now. Okay, so the price for this one, for 100 mil uh, in English pounds is... Um, Two hundred and eighty-one pounds and four pence. Bit of a pricey one. Go on then. Go on. It's none Sorry, other me. than black tie. Jezza fragrance one. You are kidding me. Yeah. That's what your black tie smells like. Two hundred and eighty-one like pounds. Yeah, I, I, I like, like it. it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't spend that much, any. No, I, I'd. I'd buy it if it was less than a hundred quid. Um, because I, he, I really like it. But then office, I like. I like office. Mm. I like. I like date. Even though I think date is just a, a rip off of, yeah. of Lamel. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I get. A, I get a little bit of vibe of office. There's a little bit of DNA. It's either office or date when it opens up, but then it goes pretty quick. See, it's not the sort of thing I'd probably wear to a black tie event. Would it you? See, I'd yeah, it's, it's, probably it's, go it's for more like break. someone a bit darker, like tuxedo and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. The 10, 10 mil of this is £42. Quid. Yeah, it's decent. I like it. Yeah, it's not. So does it does it make you change your mind about it when you hear what the price is, though? Not the fact that it's Jeremy fragrance. Not the fact that it's fragrant one. When you hear price, the price, price of it, wise, it's almost three hundred pounds. Yeah, you you wouldn't pay that, would you? No. And I think once again, as soon as you hear Jeremy's name, then you think, "Oh, Jesus, yeah. they've they've done me here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has it surprised you, Barry? It has definitely. I like it. Yeah. I I definitely um, if someone was selling like a, a partial, I might pick it up. Yeah, I, I'd It'd be have the same to be at the right price. And I yeah, think me, what, I, discounted. What, what I really like mm. about it as well is it's a monstrous performer. Um, is it? It would just, yeah, it would just last and last. Um, yeah. But it's interesting mm. that, because, I mean, Office is a good performer, isn't it? Yeah. Office is great. Yeah, really performs. To be fair, I find Date a really, really strong performer as well. I think Office is stronger, but I find Date a really strong performer as well. Like, it will last all day, but yeah. Office will last, like, all week. <laughs> See, Date is one of those that I purchased one from Fragrance Samples to compare against my Ultramel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to do a video, and then I never did in the end. But... I've, um, I've compared Date to... Um, I've not done a video of it, but I did it as a side-by-side -side comparison of 
date and um, perfume parlors, Ultramel. And it's, oh, okay. they're almost the exact same. Yeah. And that's, that's perfume. Part. So that's a, so it's date and then a clone of what you think it is. So yeah, yeah they're almost identical. So what would you that's say? Serge Luton. Of of that's Serge Luton just keeps dragging me back in. Yeah. It's nice. Like really nice. Yeah, I'd probably say the Serge Luton. The, uh, the, the vanilla is really nice in the um, Luton. It just wasn't the sort of vanilla that I yeah. wanted. Um, I preferred the um, Guerlain Spiritus. Spiritus Dubel. Um, Dubel. Yeah, I preferred that one. Yeah. It was a bit more sort of boozier. Oh, I like my boozy scent. Mm. That's why I'm just surprised you never give me some boozy ones. <laughs> but yeah, I That's... wanted to uh, send you that black tie because I had a little bit left and I thought... Yeah, let's throw that in there. See what see what we think. Interesting yeah. one. Cool. Not so, bad. Serge Luton was the winner overall. Serge Luton is the winner. Well, it's it's uh, it's it sounds like it's absolutely gorgeous anyway, doesn't it? With the uh, with what's in it. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not at all surprised. Uh, how have you found uh, How have you found the the blind sniffing test, Baz? Um, I do quite a few first impressions on stuff so i'm quite used to like smelling stuff for the first time yeah yeah but sometimes you can get an idea of a fragrance just by mm. looking at the bottle and just yeah and and a lot of it is subconsciously even though you don't like say you try and stay away from a review from something if you, you can tell what type of fragrance it is going to be before you even try it and sometimes you will hear a note or two yeah yeah but not knowing at all and just going in completely blind, then it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, it's 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 very difficult. It's one of the things that we found that we didn't quite expect to um, to be as difficult as it was when we first did the the whole kind of like essential thing. Um, after the first one, we were like, that was really hard, like really really difficult because you just you, you're so blind to it. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to kind of like just train your nose into kind of like smelling different things. And then when you hear it, one of the things I find that I think I said it earlier on, I find crazy is that when you then you know what it is and you you see what the notes are, you hear what the notes are, then you start to smell what it is, even though you had no idea of what it was or you couldn't even smell anything like that before. Um, but yeah, I find it's um, it's an interesting experiment. I find it's, um, it's well, fun. It's fun. You know um, Dan's latest creation, Dan and Matt's latest creation, Bon Viver? Yeah. I'd been smelling that for a while. I was really enjoying it. I'd spoke to Matt about it, told him the things that I liked, and he said to me, have you smelt a Coca-Cola smell from it? And I said, no. And he was saying, like, it's an old vintage type Coca-Cola. And he told oh. me this, this sort of cola. It's like a herbal cola. Mm. And it's um, a cola called Fentimans. So I ordered some. But then every time I spray it now, that's all I'm getting from this <laughs> okay. is cola smell. I'm that's getting, amazing. I mean, to be fair, it takes you on a journey through lots of different yeah, um, different emotions and things that you're picking up. Yeah. But that Coca-Cola vibe, I really enjoy. And that's one of the reasons that, I went and picked Enigma up before because that's got that sort of yeah. void inside it. Really, really yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah, really happy with these. Going back and smelling these again. I mean, A is okay. B is nice. C, I'm not liking it so much now. Are you not? No. Yeah, I'm probably the same one, C. I think that's probably why... Let me Wouldn't let me get it on the, the strip. Yeah, D. yeah, it smells different on this than it does on skin. I will I will admit. Yeah. I think I prefer D as my favourite now. I mean, well, D I is yeah. yeah, that's the same. Yeah, yeah. A is fleeting on the card though. It's almost gone. Yeah. But it is like one of those ultra freshies, so it's. The, the performance on if you were to ever pick up a bottle, I would never expect you. I, I would say don't expect it to last longer than four or five hours maximum. 
you, yeah. you get a lot of people that say that after two three hours it's kind of going already um yeah that's definitely for me it's kind of like a just a, a top up one because it is quite cheap as well could even be a gym a gym scent if that's um if that's what you yeah. want to 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 use it for um but yeah c lasts a while a uh, b Versace pour on lasts on me a good while considering what the type of fragrance it is but d lasts yeah all day all day I so buy what? a hundred mil bottle of um, Versace. Oh yeah, yeah. I I picked up a. I it was only it a, thir- for... a thirty mil bottle. Kind of made a fair went, fair deal. How much did you pay for it? It wasn't a lot. I think I got this in a in a sale. I think I got this for like. I think it was about fifteen quid. And so I picked up the hundred mil for thirty two. I think that was on like um, a deal at the time. Yeah, but this I mean fifty plus. The only the only reason I got this small one is because it was the at the time it was the only one that was on sale. Um, ideally, I wanted to get the 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 hundred mil one, um, but it it was like it, I can think I remember looking at it, it was like forty five quid or something like that, and I was like, well, if this is only fifteen, this thirty mil, and I've got God knows how many other fragrances, I'm, I'm, am I really going to go through it? So yeah, I just got the smaller one, um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy it. Well, thank you very much for uh, yeah. for for joining us with this, mate. It's been fun. I'm glad. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad you've um, you've enjoyed it. Nick, We're was there anything else that you wanted to go over before we uh, end? Yeah, so we're going to do this again with another guest. Um, so probably in a couple of weeks um we're gonna get someone else on we're gonna send them some samples and do it again and um, we've still got our sort of essential thing going on so once the next pack comes out we'll be doing that again um we've got lots of movie reviews going to be coming up um a good few more fragrance reviews so uh stay tuned stay tuned baby yeah. is it isn't the next essential box of solar notes is it solar yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure what a solar note is. Yeah. So, uh, I've got yeah, a few we'll do... fragrances that have got solar notes. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, it'll be an interesting one. We'll mm. see. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm very much yeah. looking forward to it. But um, yeah, I'm just intrigued as to what they might be. So, but yeah, it's not going. Yeah. It's not going to be until. Well, it'll be first week in first week in uh, July. 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 Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Um but yeah, that's um but thank yeah. you very much for uh, for coming on, mate. We'll um yeah. we'll call it a day there. And um yeah. Thanks for we'll, having uh, me. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you're no welcome. You have a nice time you see me, I might be in a new house. Yes, new new fingers crossed for you, mate. Yeah. 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 And thank you everyone for uh Thank you, everyone, for uh, for joining in. For those of you that uh, left comments and stuff like that, it's uh, greatly appreciated. And we'll see you on the next one. But until then, we love you all. Bye. Bye all.